I'm Peter Sidwell and today's recipe is the ultimate veggie burger. Now this is vegan, it's also vegetarian. So if you're not eating any meat today or you're trying to pull some out of your weekly consumption, this is a great recipe to use. So the veggie burger, it kind of sits on a few key ingredients, okay? So I've got chickpeas, I've got two tins of 400 gram tins drained, put together, then becomes 500 grams of drained weight chickpeas. Blitzed in a food processor, just coarsely. Not to, you're not trying to turn this into hummus or anything like that. It doesn't want to be a puree, it just wants to be coarsely chopped. If you haven't got a food processor, use a masher and just try and mash them and squash them until they're broken down. Put those to one side. Now my secret ingredient for a good veggie burger is sage and onion stuffing. So buy the dried stuff, 75 grams into a bowl with 200 mils of boiling water. Now that's a lot less water than you would normally add because I want it really tight and dry. Because I want this stuffing to really absorb any of the excess moisture in the burger to help it firm up and give you that kind of more firm texture when you're eating it. Take the sweet potatoes, cut them out of the skins and then add them to the stuffing and just give it a quick mix. Now it's time for the spices and the flavorings and really get some strong flavors in there. I'm adding some ground cumin, I'm adding smoked paprika, I'm adding salt, pepper, and I'm also gonna add an extra bit of savory flavor. I'm gonna add some miso paste. Now this is a fermented soya bean and it, it's really sort of savory. It's that umami flavor that is used in sort of Far Eastern cookery. Um, but it's great for getting that sort of rounded flavor into things. So add that all in and mix it all together. Get it really nice and evenly distributed and then add the chickpeas. Mix it all up together and then let it stand for 10 minutes just for everything to start to absorb and bind and come together. Once you've done that, you can then take your mix and divide it into portions. I'm gonna use my Kitchen Craft Burger Press. So I'm gonna oil the burger press I'm gonna put a little burger lining in there just to make sure it doesn't stick because with vegetarian burgers, you need to be a little more careful because they, they might stick. So in with a burger lining spray and then I'm gonna spray my hands with a little bit of oil and then shake my burger, pop it into the press, press it down and then it's going straight into the grill. I'm using a masterclass non-stick grill pan. I'm gonna cook it for four to five minutes on each side. Then I'm gonna lift it out pop it onto a tray and then I'm gonna bake it in the oven for 12 minutes at 180 degrees. And this will just make sure that the burger really does firm up. And it's a great technique because the grill is quite fierce but it does give great flavor. So that two-tone baking and grilling will help make you a great burger. I'm gonna serve these burgers in a folded tortilla wrap. I fold it in half once and then twice to make a nice little cone in there with some roasted red peppers and a nice tomato salsa and then just finish with a few radish tops for a nice, fresh, crisp flavour. Now if you want my recipe for my ultimate vegetarian burger, go to kitchencraft.co.uk.